Falcon Winter Falcon Soldier. Falcon Soldiers. Falcon. What's up, guys? We're the Continuity Crew. I'm Will. Uh, That's Win. And hungry. today he's still hungry. God, my back. It's a stupid chair. I swear the reason I have back problems is this chair. Um, talk about Falcon Winter Soldiers and Winter Soldier. Just the singular. No, uh, maybe Winter Soldiers now. Yeah, there's like these people with like spoilers. The just kidding. Um, what are they go check out his reacts though on the first two episodes. First one right now. Second one's blocked. Thank you Disney. Love you. Yep. Anyways, Thank you Disney. Love you. Um, <laughs> Toxic. <laughs> no, literally. Hey, just don't take it out of context. Love you guys. Um, Falcon Winter Soldier. We missed last week doing first episode. We're gonna do one or two right here right now. When what you think? <laughs> it was fine. It was fine. I uh, I kind of liked it a little bit. I like the second episode more than the first, um, but it still was just kind of like, meh. Yeah. I feel like they should have put this out first besides the one division. Who would have thought that like characters that are basically just goofy sidekicks would be so popular? Like uh, Falcon? And Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier is... He's kind of a he mean is, hero, but... He is, but like uh, Falcon is a very mean sidekick. Yeah, sidekick type yeah. deal. So yeah, uh, I like this episode. First episode though, uh, after in game, uh, quick synopsis. I'm gonna super fast. Ready? There you go. Uh, Sam gives back to Shield. He's um his family's in struggling, and Bucky he goes to therapy and doesn't kill anymore. But he tries to make amends with all the people on his list that he's hurt the families or whatever. Um, they Shield he gave back. They give it to this new guy played by Wyatt Russell. He looks like the guy from Up in the mask. Um, and he's the new Captain America. Second episode. Uh, bad guys are flag smashers, by the way, and they just want things like it before the blip. So the blip, uh, they steal antidote or whatever and vaccines stuff like that um and they're trying to distribute around the world trying to have one world order essentially um and then they uh they try to stop them one time and this episode two by the way um the flag masters fight and then new captain america everybody teams up they get mad at each other they're like blah 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 the rest of the episode blah 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 we gotta go get zemo that's it yeah, that's one over simplification, but yeah. Yeah. It works. Yeah. Well, it works. <laughs> yeah, the first episode. Um I think I don't think he was in Shield. Cuz he said Falcon was in Shield. Oh, no, no. I didn't mean that. Falcon gave the shield back cuz Yeah, the Fal Falcon gave the shield back. Not he was in Shield. Yeah. Well, yeah. I was just spraying words, dude. No. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't thinking. Yeah, first episode. How'd you like it? Uh, it felt like a very set up episode. It felt like a pilot of a TV show, which I mean, technically kind of was, and just kind of set up and went. And it's it's laying the groundwork, and nothing really happened until the end. Essentially, I mean, honestly, I don't know if we'll even see like Bucky's not Bucky, uh, Sam's like family again. Like no, we will. I'm sure we will. But if, there were scenes of us throwing the shield. Uh, yeah, house. I guess they'll. So they're they'll, they'll have to come back at some point. Shield. So they're going to work with Zemo, though. That's crazy. Yeah, that's in episode two, though. Uh, Let's talk sorry, about episode sorry. one. What did you like one. about it? Did you like, would, you, um, would you like it? Not much. <laughs> really? Not really. Uh, seeing Rhodey was cool. I I knew he was going to be in it, and I'm sure that's all his only screen time. And that's it. But um, And it felt good. Hopefully, that's just like... A good way to lay to rest Captain America, like Chris Evans playing him, and this is it. Yeah. Not bringing him back or anything. Um, I like all the callbacks from, like, stuff that's happened in the MCU, like okay. Tony Stark, stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, that's just what they do. But otherwise, they're just kind of there. I mean, I'm like, okay, I'm ready to watch next week. But it's not like WandaVision where I'm like, I'm, I'm going to get up and yeah. watch this. It, I wish they kind of put this out first. So, like, it's like, oh, this is exciting. We're back in the MCU. And then put out WandaVision because it feels like a much bigger overarching story. At least for now. This could become bigger. But I don't I don't think. Man, I love the first episode for this show. Why is that? Uh, it just felt so grounded for once. It did. I like, will uh, say we, the action was good. Yeah. Uh, we get to see, like, how people are dealing with the whole, like, uh, blip blip thing uh especially closely to like a superhero and we get to see like the superheroes being like yeah we don't really get paid 
It's more of like a volunteer kind of thing. Oh yeah, yeah. They're risking their cool. lives and shit, and you know, it kind of just made space. me mad. I'm like, that's bullshit. There's no way. No, I can see it. I can, but I'm like, you really? You want to go that route? Like, in all fairness, though, they did li- live in the uh, yeah, in that's the true. facilities and stuff like that. That's so true. it was really nice to see that, like them just being regular people, kind of going to the yeah. bank. Um, you know, they're giving out food to the homeless. And they're dealing with, like, the whole blip thing in, like, a more civilized way. And, you know, in, like, WandaVision, we get to see the government kind of deal with it. Mm-hmm. But in this one, we get to see the people deal with it, which is something that I've been curious since, like, the beginning. So Yeah, like, I feel like it gives almost backstory to everything else that's going yeah. on. And so that is cool. And in this show, it's, like, it continues that, like, the fact that people are, the civilization is still, like, dealing with the blip thing. Did, I mean, did. in the second episode, they talked about it more, mm-hmm. which is kind of stupid, like the motivation for the character, but we'll get to that here in a bit. But I really did like the first episode. It was just so nice to see that grounded. It goes back to Winter Soldier for me, at least. Yes. Because like in Winter Soldier, they were just spies, basically. <laughs> or like, I guess, a uh, uh, response unit with Captain America. They would go to like pirate ship and they would beat everyone's ass. I don't know, dude. Like, it was just kind of fine. The show so far has just been kind of meh for me. I like the violence in the first episode. I will say that was a... It was cool to see it. I mean... Yeah, I didn't think it was... I know, I'm just used to my uh, gritty, violent DC movies over here. You've seen it once. Like, it's in one movie. What do you mean, the gritty violence? (laughs) What? (laughs) Wait a minute. Sarcasm. I'm sorry. I do feel like that would be something you'd say, though. No, like, I, that's just not how I feel. Like, yes, it was a good change of pace. Literally, yes, it's only been really in Snyder Cut. That's what a DC fanboy would say. Shut up, okay? Uh, I'm the pretty. DC fanboy. You're the Marvel fanboy. Conflict. It's great. We love it. Clearly a Views, fanboy. Views, please. <laughs> yeah, first episode, pretty good. Uh, really enjoyed it. Okay. You know, it was nice and grounded. It felt like Civil War. No, not Civil War. I keep saying that. It felt like Winter Soldier, not kind Civil of, War. I guess. I just, I'm not getting it. It feels too. Oh, uh, it feels too, like, soft because, no. like, Zack Snyder was, like, no, really can I? Violent. Whoa, it showed him, like, putting on his arm. That was cool. No, what were you going to say? It just feels so, like, childish. Because Zack Snyder's no, cut like, was so violent. No, like, it, I'm not even comparing it to that. Like, it just, it feels, maybe it's too grounded for me. I don't know. Like, I feel like nothing's happened that really matters these past two episodes. And, like. That's what happened in WandaVision. N- yeah, I guess you're right. But also, <laughs> like, WandaVision, I'm, I think I already had the, like, preconception, like, this is going to mess with the multiverse. Okay. This I I can't really theorize about much over this. Like I, the only thing I can really get is the one thing I will say leading into episode two. I want to see Isaiah a flashback with what's his last name, but <laughs> Black Captain America. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about. I don't know who you're talking. About. Yeah, the voice of Martian Manhunter. <laughs> you oh stop it, Isaiah Carl Bradley. Lundley. Isaiah Bradley. I want to see like a flashback with him in the suit and everything. He's going to be more important, it looks like. I hope so. Because they literally left him abruptly. And oh, that's, that's true. Usually a trick. So, Ooh. yeah, it's one of those right things. I want more. I want yeah. more. You'll probably see more of him. I want to see a flashback of him like ripping Bucky's arm off like they said he did. Like, that'd be so cool. <laughs> yeah, I have a rebuttal for what you said about like you can't theorize about it. That's, I that's pretty much what I like about this show. Not knowing anything about this show yeah. is what gets me excited. Because, like, with WandaVision, it was pretty clear that, like, oh, yeah, this it's is where it's from. On, right? This is from yeah. the comic book. It was House of M. And, like, in my mind, it's like, okay, cool, yeah, uh, we expecting this shit. But, like, with this show, every episode, and especially knowing the characters already, but, like, every episode, it's like, oh, cool, we're going to do this. I will say, after episode two, like most everything in the trailers, I feel like I've seen. So that is exciting. I'm excited for the upcoming stuff. The only thing shot I think I haven't seen is the one with Zemo with his mask. He's like, Bleh. Yeah. I wonder if we're ever going to And see. Sharon Carter. But 
Otherwise, like those don't really give much. So I'm excited to see. I definitely think theorizing wise, though, definitely think they're gonna team up with Nemo. Probably they're gonna break him out of jail. Yeah, I know, but they're yeah. gonna like team up with him. I already knew the answer for that. Well, sh- <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I was trying to make conversation. <laughs> oh, uh, what's it? The dude who's uh, I'm just calling him USA agent, um, US agent or whatever. His friend, dumbest character. Why is he there? Yeah, I th- yeah. Like, there's. I agree with that. There's no. Maybe he'll be involved later, but and probably it's just so there's two duos. Yeah, I guess. for TV. Yeah, but otherwise, I'm just like, this is so dumb. Like yeah. Battlestar. Okay. Is that his name? Yeah. What the f <laughs> he says Did it. I'm like name? I'm like, Battlestar. Oh. It's like, are you are we really going with that? Oh. Really? Yeah. I'm wow, that's sure that's an actual name. person though in I Marvel. Don't I don't know anything about I don't know about all that much. His suit looks good. Got the USA agent. Yeah, it looks all right. Yeah. It looks like yeah, the Hydra one. Person. From like the so. Ultimate Comics, and I think it's the Ultimate Comics. I don't know anymore. He was oh, so he's literally just it's it literally is just your classic like TV because he was apparently Bucky at one point in the comics. Cool. And so they're just flipping the roles of yeah. So um, he's gonna die. Probably. <laughs> oh, I definitely think he's gonna die. What I want to see is okay. So the Torres guy. Yeah. Uh, he already becomes Falcon in like the comics. Yeah. I want to see him become Falcon. Falcon become Captain America. That's probably what's gonna happen. Please, I nah, like the Torres character. Really? Yeah, I yeah. think he he's fun. He feels like he's separate from everything else, but still connected in yeah. a sense. So, I like it. I like it a lot. He feels like a comic relief. That's all. That, that even more of a comic relief. Because every like everyone in the show is just a comic relief, basically. Yeah, everyone's got their. The quirkiness to yeah, them. Pretty much. They're a little like Bucky's like very dry and like but and he's he's from the nineteen thirties or yeah. whatever and Sam's just an asshole. <laughs> yeah. Under yeah, I really do wanna see if we get to see Isaiah fight. I hope so. Cause he literally threw that can of whatever into the wall and I was like, You can't just show me that and not <laughs> show me like Either a flashback is like what I really want, but if I don't get yeah. that, I need to see him like beating some dudes up. Yeah, I really like seeing him. I, I couldn't believe it. Uh, I was, I've been binge watching Justice League for like the past week, mm-hmm. and like Martian Manhunter's voice in that was like, this is how Martian Manhunter should be, and not like this soft ass shit where it's like, oh, I'm here to help you. He's just like, yeah, I want to watch the Justice League like unlimited. Uh, animated show. Just watch watch Justice League first, and then Justice League Unlimited, because it follows that. Oh, okay, order. yeah. Because it seems like it's it. very story based. It's it's somewhat. It's, I mean, it's got the episodes where it's like part one, part two. Yeah, yeah. But so, yeah, Martian Manhunter was my favorite in that. Oh, I say honestly, I, I had to look him up, and I, I saw didn't. his uh, IMDb page with like Falcon and Winter Soldier. I'm yep. like, oh. Cool. cool. He's probably a voice or like an extra where he's like police or something. Nah, he's freaking the Isaiah Bradley. Literally, like, well, I didn't. Okay, so like they said Isaiah in the show and all that, and then like I didn't put it together. Like, oh, he's the like first black Captain America. I didn't put it together. Yeah. Because I was looking at the, I saw Isaiah Bradley. I'm like, I know that. And then yeah, can't put it all together, which is very exciting. We need to see more, and they will most likely. So that's my clickbait on that video. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which will be out eventually. Oh! Episode two. I was already oh, talking, been talking about it. We've been talking two. about yeah. it, dude. Like, it, yeah. um, it's it's better, I guess. I mean. I just like it. It's it's just one of those things where it's like, I wanted to see more of uh, Captain America Winter Soldier. Mm-hmm. And this is stretched out. And that's really the only thing I liked about the show. It's just so, it's so that, like. It feels so much like a spy movie slash like a yeah maybe an that's why movie. I don't necessarily like it because very few spy movies I'm like yes a couple of James Bond I'm like yes but otherwise not really my genre to get latched into and maybe that's why maybe they're do they're I will say they're doing a great job it's Marvel I mean but um 
I think that might be why. I think you cracked the code. It's just spy stuff isn't always my forte. My In all fairness, this show could have easily been a terrible show. No. Because, like, yeah, you know, like, if, again, it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, you see other, maybe another studio do this, and they're like, they're going to butcher it. No. Yeah. They've already butchered The Flash and Supergirl. I hope that's not true. What? It says he's only in one episode, but of course, like. It's IMDb. Yeah. We don't, they don't know. Well, some say like six and five and like, yeah, yeah hopefully that's not true. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll see. Uh, but I, I, episode two is better than the first one. And I, I think it's just going to go up from here, to be honest. It's just, I haven't been hooked yet. Yeah. We're past act one of the show. Yeah. Which is crazy. We're already a third of the way yeah. through. Yeah. You see Bucky run? No, I didn't see that. He outpaced the trucks. Well, I knew he could. I guess I just didn't see that, though, which is great. I love it when they do that. Yeah. like That's like one of my favorite scenes in Infinity War when Captain America and Black Panther just yeah. bolt. Yeah. I'm just like, and what's funny is Bucky can run that fast. He was just yeah. chilling in the back in Infinity War. He did so. have a big gun. It's lame excuse. <laughs> You're a super soldier. Oh yeah, it was here. pretty sick. And like, just like he was running and he jumped out the truck and like he pulled that door open. Yeah. Oh he well. Kicked, he got kicked in the ass. The uh, what is it? The uh. Well, uh, you're the White Panther now. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, you spent time in Wakanda. Uh, it's actually a White Wolf. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> That's probably my favorite line. Um. Yeah, I love the uh, banter between these two. It feels yeah, very yeah. natural. And it, it is. It is. And I think um, so far that's the only thing, honestly, that's keeping me invested is the, those two. Yeah. Because otherwise I'm just kind of like, Flag Smashers, so far, there's kind of meh as villains. Yeah. And that's why I'm hoping USA, US agent He's kind of lame too. He is. Yeah. Well, I hope he turns and becomes like this bad. Yeah. I mean, right now he's just kind of like, a dude in a situation, I'm sorry. Yeah. Hopefully he turns into like, I don't know. We'll see. And just, he, al- <laughs> he also tried to be threatening in like that scene where they were just coming out of the police station. He was like, then don't get in my way. And I'm like, dude, shut the hell yeah, up. Yeah, he's he looks he, like goofy. With that he's suit. also just a dude, which I, I'm just like, well, he's going to just get like shot and die. Yeah, he looks like Casey Neistat. He does. Yeah. <laughs> he, he looks like he's vlogging all the time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's Kurt Russell's son. Leave him alone. Ah, whatever. I don't care. Entitled white boy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I, I don't think I like. His, I don't like his motivation, and I don't like. Yeah, you know, he he's supposed to be threatening, but he's I can not. already see him being goofy as like. I don't know. He just seems so like he's just a dude in a situation. Like I said, so I'm just like not really buying his character. And then he's got a shitty sidekick too, and I'm just yeah. like, well. He looks like he looks vegan. <laughs> He's in uh, Angry Girls West. Yeah, he was, you know, very artistic in that, sh- in that movie. God, that movie's still just, uh, <laughs> I don't like it. It's so weird. But yeah, he, he looks like he's the vegan version of Captain America. Yeah. Yeah, that's the only way I can describe him. And his friend. I bet. Oh, I'm on theory, I guess. Uh, he he wants to get the super soul serum and it makes him bad. There he we. already looks pretty bad. Yeah, I can see that. Like he gets um, cause the flag smashers have it somehow, and he finds a way to get it. It makes him go crazy. That's such a lame ass name too. What? Maybe that's why I can't take this. I, I take this show seriously and not seriously, just cause everything about it is just goofy now. It is goofy because it's a lot of these characters are very silly yeah in the comics but and i think they get that yeah but yeah. they're like we're doing our best and yeah. it it works i will say so yeah because like flag smashers <laughs> shouldn't yeah. work yeah because the flag smasher is like just one character in the comic so yeah and zemo looks like he's about to kick ass he has a mask on out of 10 first two episodes eight eight as well Really? Yeah, like it's not wow. like I enjoy it. Like I'm watching yeah, it yeah. and I'm in it in every second, but I'm just like, okay, now what? I, I just something's <laughs> missing. So I'm just, it's just, it's like a James Bond movie. Like I'm not into it, but 
I'd still give like Spectre a little Spectre? No, Skyfall. Yeah, Skyfall like a nine. I never liked those James Bond movies. I haven't those seen two. Those I haven't seen so Spectre. Many. I love Skyfall though. And Casino Royale. He's such a good Bond. Yeah, well. Yeah, I just don't like the James Bond anymore. That's fine. Because like he's always so indestructible for some reason. There's just so many. There's so many yeah. too. But anyways, when wrap this episode up, bro. Uh yeah, this TV show, I think it's excellent that nobody like I don't think I've seen any theories about it. Yeah. I do know. Yeah, just as Lords. Yeah, I do know what they Yeah. Are. Uh it's great that there's not a lot it's not there's not a lot of ex- expectations for this show anymore. Or there's not a lot of expectations for this show in general. Because like in WandaVision it was so overcrowded and a lot of it was just like speculations and like a lot of people were just like, Oh, it's because this bunny's like this <coughs> or like this mailman is talking like this and it's like, Okay, well, it's reasonable but at the same time, you know, you're really oversaturating the whole theory so yeah uh this show i think it's excellent for what it is it it is goofy in terms of like the bad guy the motivation for the bad guys and just overall and in general the uh the characters just seem like they're having fun uh so that's what i like about it so, so i don't know about you it's all right i'm gonna keep watching keep doing these it's an eight out of ten, though. <laughs> do you think? Uh, do you think we'll see any like other main characters? I mean, we're gonna see Carter. You think we're gonna see Pedro? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Quicksilver confirmed. That'd be so funny. <laughs> Mephisto confirmed. Wait, did you see how he threw his shield? Was that Mephisto? <laughs> oh yeah, that dude looks way too skinny to be Captain America. I know, like he didn't bulk up for this role, like at all. They're just kind of like, here, put on the suit. Oh, you know what? What if they approach John Krasinski for this? Because, like, he auditioned for Captain America I could have seen that. Yeah. Oh, man, people would have been pissed. No, we want him as Mr. Fantastic. I don't think it's ever going to happen. Dude, like, at this point, he is casted. Like, there's no way they don't. (laughs) Like, it's just so dumb, and I kind of hate it. But also, like, ah, whatever. I mean, they kind of technically did bully uh, Doctor Strange. Um, what's his name? Benedict Cumberbatch, yeah. and they got him. So I, th- I, I think, maybe. I think it will. Yeah. But anyways, that's a fucking Winter Soldier. Fucking Winter Soldier. F-ing, f-ing, f-ing. Uh, I've seen but, that video. What? what? <laughs> We've been the continuity crew. I'm Will. I'm hungry. <laughs> what? <laughs> what video is all about? I said Falcon. I shouldn't explain the joke, but because but Falcon f-ing Winter Soldier. I've seen that video. Oh, oh, oh! I didn't hear you say Falcon in the first part. Oh uh, no! I just heard you no, say I re- the Winter Soldier. I, like, I oh, reset. Okay. I reset. But anyways, got it. We've been kind of agree. I'm well. He's hungry. That's actually when. Don't be. He's still here. Thank y'all for watching. Check out socials. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit all that stuff. You know what to do. See y'all next time. What's what's he do? Kev, Kev, he's like, he's like smiling. He's like, that's it. No, he looks down like this. Like, yeah, he looks. Hey. <laughs> then he looks like the Carl Fredrickson. Uh, Casey Neistat.